Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we last left off, we had just finished getting a shipwide calm, I think, from our possible future husband, Karth, telling us to get to the escape pods. And we had just lost our dear friend Trask, who we will never think about again, ever. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the last one and I hope you will enjoy this one. And I don't really know where I'm going with this, so I'll be with you momentarily. Did I just... Oh, good, it went through the wall. Excellent. I was worried. Nope. Yeah. Oh, is this a critical strike? Yeah. I just critical striked you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Okay, put the weapon away. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but it... No, go. No. Oh, crap. Take off my sword or something. I don't know. Uh, no. None. Put none in there. No, no, yes. None. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why are we stuck? Yeah, I just kamikaze him, but now she's stuck. I need to look this up. Basic? Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, that worked. Excellent. That's good. That was going to be a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Yeah, Zanko, do you know when this place placed in relation to the movie? It said it was 4,000 years before... Oh, crap. Now am I stuck or something? There's not many places for me to go. Sounds like horrible things are happening in there. Ah! This takes place long before the movies. Yeah, it was like 4,000 years or something. Like, if, if I was reading that right in relation to what was going on. This door? I'm gonna go through this door. Oh, hi! Have a grenade. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh man. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty snazzy. Look at that. That's pretty fancy. Be careful. Ha ha. A squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could just... reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! I don't know! Everybody in the future has some sort of tech knowledge that I do not have. In real life. Like, it just seems like everybody knows something about... everything. Before the Mandalorian? After the Mandalorian Wars, okay. Okay, how about I... I'm gonna try this one. This one sounds better. Oh boy. Players can slice into computers to try to override. Slicing a computer requires computer spikes. I have some of those, it looks like. Press cancel, press enter. Okay. Oh! Computer overload power conduit. Okay. Yeah. Blow up now. Thank you. That was just, that was fantastic. Logging you out. Okay, good. That was much simpler than having to fight them. Remains. They're all been electrocuted. Dang, I'm vicious. 
I got a frag grenade. I got a frag grenade. Ooh, that's a that's a that's a, like an elite guard. Ion blaster and prototype vibro blade. <gasps> gimme, gimme. Med pack. Yeah, so they well, I mean like it's it's amazing to me that Star Wars, everything is basically still like you can go four thousand years in the past of Star Wars and everything is still this advanced. Like we still have space travel and stuff. That's pretty crazy to me. But nothing really seems to change. Not that you can blame it, but Yes, I that Okay. So this is like a I was like, no, not really, but it kind of maybe sort of like a lightsaber. You've made it just in time. There's only Hello, one future husband. <laughs> Come on, we can hide out on the planet. <laughs> the society is very stagnant. Yes. <laughs> How do I know I can trust you? I'm a soldier with Republic. Like you. It's Caden. Crew members left in the end our spire. It's Caden's voice. The pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. It's Caden's voice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I I was like, why do I trust this boy? Like, I was like, I was like, automatically, I was like, I love. I'm already in love. Like, what is this? Like, oh my gosh. Like, I already trust and respect him. And I just realized it's because he has Caden's voice. Oh. Karth. Okay, Karth, what now? Karth, oh no, am I stuck? I'm stuck on you, babe, oh boy. Okay, here we go. Escape pod. This is the last escape pod and your only hope of survival. Amen. Step away from the escape pod. Uh, no, use the escape pod, thank you. Do I play Mass Effect, Eren? Yes, I do. I play loads of Mass Effect. I love it. I love it to bits. I romance Caden. Well, the first time I played, I romanced Liara, because I played a male shepherd. Romanced Liara, and then I romanced Tally, and then I stopped playing, because I wanted to play a female shepherd, so I could romance Thane in Mass Effect 2, and I romanced Caden in Mass Effect 1 with my female shepherd, and her name is Raven, and I love her to bits. I love Mass Effect. It's my first Bioware game. Sith battle! Or Jedi bat was that me or is that somebody else? Like was that a dream? I think that was a dream. You've completed them 22 times, Aaron. I applaud I'm silently applauding you. Like, wow. I've only completed them three times each. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever gonna wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Karth is romanceable, says Zanko. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Good, because he has Caden's voice, so I'm automatically plus, plus ten to him. <laughs> All right. Uh, Karth, the one with the communicator, I remember. Um, so we're going to be sassy. Right, I'm Cass Aviary, by the way. How did we get here? Try not to worry. We're safe. At least yeah, where are we exactly? We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. Oh, how so nice! I didn't drag you away from <laughs> the crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived in the city... We're basically living out. together. Oh my gosh. So... Are we just gonna wait around here for the Republic to rescue us? Uh, I got, yeah. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet wide quarantine. I thought I said quarry and I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service. I'm gonna like pass out. I'm like already in love with him. Of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit, but it should come in handy while we're stranded on the floor. Planet. I know foreign languages. No <laughs> <laughs> help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Uh, why is it so important to find Bastila? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan. 
Malik's oh. Sith Master. Bastil is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the. I'm island. dying. This is Caden. It's in an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastil was on one of the escape pods that crashed out here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. How can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? <laughs> we got to be sassy to romance. I keep wanting to call him Cassian. His name is Karth, but I keep wanting to call him Cassian, and it makes me kind of want to cry a little bit inside because of that movie. Vasila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call ah. meditation. Vasila's power can influence entire armies. What? Through the Force, Vasila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do. Miss Sassalot. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. In such a stressful like environment, us, yeah. She would need to be away from the battle a little bit. Miss Sassalot. That's what we're going to call her now. Miss Sassalot. So... How do you even know she's still alive? I don't. But Vassila's young, and she has a powerful command of the force. I'm already jealous. I'm already back. jealous. And so, I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Nope, nope, Besides, you're mine. I mean, if she's dead, she's <laughs> dead. No one can stop Malak and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Interesting. So the most important character in this, the one with like the predestined ability to save the galaxy, isn't me. I like that. I like game like Dragon Age 2, where like you weren't really an important figure in the overall grand scheme of things. You were kind of a side character, and you got to play from the point of view of somebody who could only affect the 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 the, the people around them, basically. You had no control over the wider galaxy. So this is interesting. This is really interesting. How can... Oh no, we already did that. If, okay, so what do you suggest we do next? Vassal's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force. And the Sith have already killed more than their share of The Jedi, Jedi always get killed Nobody off faster than the Sith do. a couple of common soldiers like us. And if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Uh, any idea where we should start looking for her? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. What happened to the rest of the ship, of the people on the ship? Okay, I want to ask you some questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help. Maybe, I'm gonna maybe turn down the music a little bit once I, like, like as compared to the dialogue in a second. Um, what do you know about Malik and the Sith? Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith master. With Revan's death, Malik became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless His hair moves a little bit. Anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. We can never... Malik and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Hey, yeah, I see her nodding. She's like, yeah. <laughs> a Jedi? What do you mean? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Aren't you actually a Sith the whole time? Like, like as a Jedi? Like, you're, you're not actually a Jedi, but like you're basically born as a Sith? 
I was, I know that there are some, I'm, I don't know a whole lot, I don't know enough about Star Wars to definitively talk on this sort of a thing, but I know that sometimes Sith, or like Dark, like, like Darth, like Darth Vader, obviously, he was a Jedi once, but he switched over to the dark side, but I feel like, I was about, I was actually curious, I was about to say, if they are just brought up that way and not not you they're usually brought up to be dark lord sith people and not usually jedi but i don't know what sounds like malik and the sith have the right idea what no uh don't worry we'll find a way to stop the sith i hope you're right but the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with their support of the Jedi Council. I think Bastila may be the galaxy's last hope. Interesting. What can you tell me about the planet we're on? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis. I love his voice! Ah! The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs waging a never ending war. Swoop bike control. gangs? And Swooping is bad. That's even worse. The lowest level of terrace is a wasteland overrun by rackles. Rackles? Disease new Yikes! On site. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Thank you for reading my journal! He read my journal? What a jerk. I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. <laughs> this is such a bad time for this. Yeah. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time. Oh, go, wow! But this isn't really the best time for long wow. interactions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so when we start looking for her, I'll Good find idea. her. Yay. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. Sure, sure, some buddy. stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation deck. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking He keeps back. saying that. He keeps saying we should like be us. fine. And I get more and more worried right, the soldier, more he says it. Let's move out. Oh, talk to Karth again. Come here, Karth. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, God, I was doing something else. Okay. Talk to me. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh... Do you want to know more about you? Me? Okay, well, good. I'm a star pilot for yeah. years. Seen I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. Aww. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. Wow, he's, shouldn't mean I he's failed brandishing him. his pistol I at didn't. me. He's brandishing his pistol at me. Wow. Uh, hey, why are you getting so mad at me? Um, He wants to go to second base for sure. <laughs> not, not right now. Uh... Oh shoot, this is important, how I react to this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you, them. I, I keep on, I kind of want to probe him. Them, do you mean the people of your home world? That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Okay. How do I, is there like a, um... Is there like a meter 
for what my companions think of me. Where's like, um... Can I switch over to him somehow? Or do I have to, no, okay. I had to figure it out, okay. All right, so they, so for, for Dragon Age, which I believe was the next game, Dragon Age Origins was the next game to come out after this. They switched that up a bit by letting you see it. I prefer, I do, I, I guess part of me likes the being able to see the approval, but another part of me thinks it's really cool when I actually had to figure it out too. It's more organic that way. Um, wow, this music. Okay. Upgrade. Yay. Sure, let's use it. I, okay, upgrade item. 1 to 10. Versus 2, weapon penalty if used in the offhand. I can use it in my offhand then. Can I upgrade it? Oh! You're too short to be a stormtrooper! <laughs> I'd like to be one of the sand people. That'd be cool. Um... Sure. Okay. Oh, nice! I should probably put it... How do I put it away? Is there a way to put them away? Oh, did she put it away? No, she didn't put it away. Let me actually, I would like to maybe equip the, I have two vibro blades, geez. I'd like to equip the short sword in my offhand. Is this my offhand? Am I right or left-handed? Ewok, nice, you wanna be an Ewok, little squirrel. Can you do a well? I better be able to do a well, lightsabers. That'd be awesome. If I can do a wield swords, I'm kind of assuming I can do a wield. Okay, so there's the penalty. Okay, this is the main hand. This is the off hand. Okay. Sand people. I know, Ronland. I'm bad. I'm bad at names. I'm bad. Okay, don't hate me. <laughs> don't hate me. Sand people. How do I unequip? Like, or is there a way she could just like put it away? You want to be a Wookiee? Oh, the sand people, they scared you as a kid? They are pretty scary. A Wookiee, they are strong. I read a book, I, when I was younger, I really liked reading like the Young Jedi books. And there was one with this like girl Wookiee. And I was like, as a kid, I was like, I didn't even realize there were girl Wookiees. And I thought it was really cool, and they sounded um, really cool. Like, I don't know, being a Wookiee could be awesome. Like, I liked I liked reading from her perspective. You want to be a Sith? You like being evil in Mass Effect? Nice, Aaron. Oh, I guess being okay, being a Jedi would be really cool. But I mean, the more the more I read into, like, you know, I don't know. As a kid, I just read a lot of books from different perspectives, and I honestly liked the idea of being a smuggler better. And I can wear a cloak even though I'm not a Jedi. If I want to. Okay, so they might, my character might just put him away later. Okay, I was looking it up really quick. I must select which party member to take. Look at me just standing. Look at that butt. I have a nice butt. Press X to do a twirl? Whoa, this is the first time I'm leaving. I'll have to take Karth. Okay, I have to take Karth. Okay. <laughs> right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. What? Wow, okie dokie then. Jeez. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. 
What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! What? Oh my gosh. How did you just guess that right off the bat? Hang on. Okay. Grenade! Oh wait. Grenade! Okay. I'm glad I didn't hit you, guy. I love how many aliens are in Star Wars. Like, how many different alien types? Because Mass Effect, I mean, is, is fairly limited. And a lot of space games are, but Star Wars never... Star Wars was like, screw it! We're just making it up, we're throwing them in! We're gonna have so many aliens, you won't even know what to do with them all. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? Oh, nice, thank you, guy. He's gonna move the bodies for me. I'm gonna move the bodies for me. It almost sounds like some parts of it are attempting to be like Japanese or something. Not surprising though. I did hit him with the grenade. That's why he's clutching his chest. No, I'm sorry, guy. Okay. Um, sorry, guy. I thought he was further back, so I thought I wouldn't hit him. Oh, my bad. I'll have to be careful. It's good to know though that there's not. Who are you? Are you a store guy? Our illegal aliens, like, ha, ha, ha. Wow, this is taking a little bit long, you know? Wow, you have the option to be either super sweet and nice, or a complete jerk. Pleased to meet you, Lair. My name is Cass Aviary. Avery. 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 New energy shields, ho ho! Uh, well, what's so great about the energy shields? Okay, radio mass absorbs blaster bolts, pretty handy to fight. It should even protect against a lightsaber. It won't protect against a lightsaber. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why uh, the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Boo-boo. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boo-boo. Bobo. Where did this technology come from? I guess he's care He's wandering around with his blaster in his hand, so... Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gondona Chuchut Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga. I wonder if there's chances to like explore ancient alien technologies and stuff. Wonga Kumbis Jang Ba Mulera Takum just Tak Miki Grabble Mogo Kachi Gratu Noda Bograshi on the Dolpa da Bongwale Gandona Chuchut. Come. Anything else? Um. Why do you have a kiosk set up here? You mentioned something about illegal aliens living here? Relax. Ah. <laughs> Otherwise, you get squatters, people hiding out from the authorities. <laughs> and they don't pay rent. Ha ha ha. Aren't you worried about getting caught? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let me try to sell you stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's sell... Uh... 
all the clothing. So, well, actually, I should probably, I should probably keep some of this to hand out, right? To people, I would assume. Computer spike, parts, clothing, military suit, heavy combat suit. Stun baton. Quarter staff? I want a quarter staff! Ah! Can I have a quarter staff? Sanko, can I have a quarter staff? <laughs> Is that a good... It's only... Look, it's not as good. Ma, I want a quarter staff. Is this really a game where you could... I... Whoa. My, my most favorite weapon in the whole world that I would love to play with is a spear. I want to play a spear. I was so sad in Skyrim. I was fully, I wanted to make like a Valkyrie. I was like, I'm going to make a spear shield maiden. It's going to be great. And then they said, nope, we don't make spears in this game. And I was so freaking sad. I was so sad. Oh, man. I don't have enough money for any of this, though. That one only cost two credits. Oh, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Let's see. Ithorarian. Hello. Ah, okay. Residence. Low security door. Does that mean I can hack this door open with my sword? Borean! <laughs> hey. Ah. You're stuck here too. What's this? Nothing? Search the apartments? Can I get into the apartments? Oh, hey! Oh, you're another Twi'lek! Janitor. With mods you can use spears? I don't want to break. I don't want to break into any of the doors. So. Hey there. What? 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 We are walking. I just clean those. Floors. I just clean those floors. Uh. Sorry. Well, all right then. No hard. <laughs> My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. <laughs> hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What How can you tell? Here because of the quarantine. I'm gonna ask you Don't some know questions. how much I can tell you, but tell me about terrace. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gang swoop. hang out. Swooping Just is stay bad. Upper city and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. Okay, cantinas, right, right. Just keep following the important. apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. Ah, okay. It'll take you out to the upper streets there, then. and from okay. there, don't know. Uh, there. Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. Ah, okay. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably. <laughs> no sass, you walk where you want. No, I don't want to be a jerk. <laughs> Did you just bow or are you like cleaning or something? I don't know, I can't tell. Uh, well, I'm going to call the recording here really quick. I'm going to keep playing, but I do, I'm going to call the recording here super quick. So, for those who watch this on YouTube eventually, I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think. And as I was going to say before I accidentally cut myself off, I hope to see you in the next one.